Hey, we're back. Uh, it's time last time lapse photography for uh, because about two hours has elapsed since the last time I filmed. Um, and the reason why um, is we were installing this new um, ignition uh, um, cylinder lock. It, it's in. I'm going to show you in just a moment. Uh, I just want to show you how we did it. So uh, these, the new one, of course. Uh, fastens with these those are eight millimeter uh, nuts which is fantastic and uh, we had to cut the old uh, anti-theft ones off and then um, there's three cables that route from the switch down behind this panel so you see it you see all these wires sticking out well they're sticking out because they have to uh, there's a bolt a nut up here on this end of that tray you lower that down and that's where the three connectors are. So, uh, oh no, not fun. There's no fun here, but it's all installed. And what we did was we zip tied up all the wires nice and tight and uh, tidy everything up. And I'll just show you. We haven't tried to put the uh, cover back on, but this, this is the ignition switch cable. We have a little bit of play in it. Um, we don't want to mess with these pull around on it too much because these are soldered in on the end there but we're gonna get the uh, get the uh, cover and, and work the cover back on it and, and button it up here in a little bit but what I wanted to show you and I'll just set the camera down I don't even know what kind of wonky angle that's gonna be I just want to show you with the new key uh, the operation here so I'll try to hold the camera where you can see it's real stiff like it should be not loose 31 years loose uh so it's nice and tight there's accessory our uh, on position start and then to lock we're gonna have to push this little button in see the button where my finger is so we push that in turn it and it, it pops out and when you when the key came out did you hear a hear a kind of a clicking sound that clicking sound was that lock in this mechanism going into the steering column and locking the steering wheel now now it's locked so steering wheel has a little bit of play in it when a steering wheel is locked it shouldn't be locked so much that you can't do what i'm doing now which is just slightly moving it see how it's moving that that's normal it, it shouldn't be locked where you cannot even move the steering wheel that that's indicative of a problem so we installed it, this illumination ring we put back on. Uh, we put some anti-seize tape on this ring protector. That's what it's called. Um, we're gonna go get a knife and just get some of that, see that, that's actually plumber's tape behind it. We just wrapped the cylinder with plumber's tape. So when we push this on, it's super snug. Um, it was loose before and it was, it was just this whole area of the Z was just ticking me off, but it wasn't, it was working. And, and so the way it is in real life is you, you don't just change. You don't just decide, okay, this weekend, I'm gonna take the entire weekend and, and put a new ignition lock on the Z. You just don't do it. That's just not how things work. Um, I, it was planned. I was definitely gonna do it. It wasn't like it was an emergency. It was a nuisance because the, the car did, um, the key did stick in the old ignition and you couldn't get it out uh, the lock wouldn't uh, release right here but brand new um that's on position start i believe that's accessory off and then lock and key comes out um it's it's nice having a brand new ignition lock of course the uh this key doesn't say nissan on it the other one did but the this is the real thing these are this is a beck arnley this is the first time I've ever replaced an ignition lock in a car. Um, it, was, it wasn't fun. It wasn't like easy because we had to cut the old bolts off with a Dremel tool. And, um, but it's fairly straightforward. So like anything, if you look down there in the kick panel, you see that? What, what is that? Like 4, 8, 10, 12, 13 connectors are unplugged because that's how many connectors we had to unplug to get the fuse panel out to get behind it and take out the bulb check relay, which we suspect might be bad. I also suspected the ignition relay. It's been replaced. Uh, bulb check relay, if you're watching these clips, you know you can't get one 
you cannot buy a brand new one they don't exist so um we a buddy of our city might have one it's going to be used no telling if it's good or not and then we just bought one off of ebay that can that's the entire fuse block is coming with the relays attached and the only reason we're paid 85 dollars for a fuse block we don't need um is for that one relay uh, just so we have another one and it may also not be any good there's the relays are hard to test and prove that they're good um, you just replace them when you suspect one in a circuit uh, but in the case of this one it's the only relay of that type on this vehicle and so because it's such a limited use relay there would be no reason for nissan to continue manufacturing that over time and and there's not enough of them failing um, equals demand there's not enough demand in the marketplace for aftermarket suppliers like uh, concept z performance in phoenix or quite a few other ones that i won't name there's no reason for them to carry this part or to go to you know have that remanufactured so that sucks because it's a highly suspect relay it's in the charging circuits in the starting circuits in the air conditioning circuit that bulb check relay is in every circuit and if it's bad it can cause all kinds of problems now whether can it cause your car to turn off like the z turned off basically uh, when this incident happened i don't know that I, I can't prove that by looking at the circuit diagrams but the ignition relay can turn off the car and it's brand new so so that's in there i'm I have about 50 50 like flip a coin where i'm going to put the old um bulb check relay back in connect all those connectors back up and see if the z will start um but I, I just i'm really i'm really suspect this switch that we just this ignition switch we just replaced i just really suspect it that it was part of the problem in the way that the car died like you turn the flip this key and like the ignition you just turned it off it died that way as if someone turned off the car um that's really really unusual um and in, in, indicative of an ignition circuit problem or um in the case of that bulb check relay it it could be involved so we still have don't have conclusive proof that it's either one of those relays but we've replaced a lot of other things and spent 30 plus hours on the z and i i at some point we're gonna have to see if we've fixed it we may have already uh repaired it with some of the things we've already done all battery harnesses alternators alternator harnesses we, we've done a lot of work and one, any or one any one of those or multiples of those may have been part of the problem and it may be corrected i just want to try to turn every rock over before we uh, try to do a battery test and see if we have a short condition still in the wiring somewhere all right so that's this uh I'll, I'll do one more clip probably once i get this housing back on it might take a little bit of gyrations um but thanks for watching baddest d in the land channel sorry we don't have any footage of any car shows uh because we weren't at the final two shows of the season which was import face off in tulsa on november 12th the little red uh, came down with the flu <laughs> my joking trying to keep a positive attitude about this incident it happened on the 10th two days before we were going to leave for tulsa um, we're just grateful that we weren't on the side of the highway it's about a 90 mile drive from oklahoma city to tulsa that we weren't on the side of the highway and little red died uh, it died right up the street and if your car is going to die that's where you want it to die is as close to your house as possible ideally it would die right in the garage you wouldn't, even, you wouldn't even have to have it towed up the driveway which in my case my driveway is so steep i had to call a tow truck to tow the little red up the driveway back up the driveway and then just let her off in the in the garage so more to come thanks for watching